Western Mass News is your vaccine authority. A new vaccine site officially opened up today at the Big E Fairgrounds in West Springfield. Western Mass News reporter Kelly Puglise is getting answers on how it will serve towns here in Western Mass. You know, it's a very important for us to be part of the solution for you know a lot of reasons because everybody is familiar with these grounds. The ribbon has been cut in the Big E Regional Vaccination Site officially opening up Tuesday, giving Bay Staters another option to make an appointment at a place many people know well, something Eastern States Exposition President and CEO Gene Cassidy is excited about. Uh, to be honest, I was disappointed that we weren't made a vaccination site much earlier in the equation for that reason. But uh, with the help of Mayor Reichelt and, and Mayor Cipelli and, and the other leaders from the other communities, uh, they were able to convince the administration that this really was the right place to have the uh, vaccination site. They're planning to administer about 1,500 doses a week here, with a certain amount designated for area residents in West Springfield, Agawam, Westfield, Southwick, Tolland, and Granville. Each town has been given a specific day of the week for vaccinations, which you can see on your screen now. But Mayor Will Reichelt tells Western Mass News he's hoping for an increase in doses from the state so more people can book appointments. The more they give us, the more we we can we can pass out a Western Mass News viewer reached out wondering if the new site will affect the planned drive in movie theater opening this Friday, April 23rd. You asked, we got the answers and good news. It's still on. So what's nice about the Biggie Fairgrounds is that there's more than enough room here for everything. And Cassidy is confident, especially with vaccinations, that the much anticipated Biggie Fair will reopen in full swing this fall. We've got a, a, a nice runway uh, as we anticipate the opening of the Biggie 2021. Kaylee Puglis, Western Mass News.